In this video, we're going to learn how to bring in an image into Fusion 360 so that we can create a sketch over it and then we can turn it into a body. So to bring in an image, we're going to go to insert and we're going to click on attach canvas. As you can see on the right hand side, we're going to get this little window that's going to tell us to select a face. So I'm going to select the XZ plane. Then it's going to ask me to select the image. So I'm going to click on this icon right here and I'm going to navigate and find my image. So here's my image. And as you can see, the image is very small. I'm not going to deal with scaling the image and positioning the image yet because what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to use a tool to expand the image to the actual size. So I'm going to get out of the attach canvas. Uh, we're going to revisit this window later on. So I'm going to hit OK. And there's my image. It's microscopic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view. And I'm going to zoom in so that we can see how small the image is. One thing that I want you to be aware of is that this image right here has two known dimensions. The width of the tool is 40.8 millimeters and the height is 98.6 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my browser right here. I'm going to expand the browser and notice that I have the canvas. And this is exactly what we did. We inserted a new canvas. So I'm going to select this canvas right here and I'm going to use my right mouse button and I'm going to select the calibrate tool. And what the calibrate tool allows me to do is select two points and then define the dimension. So I'm going to click on this point right here and then I'm going to click right here to create my second point. And I'm going to type in what I have right here, which is 98.6 millimeters. So I'm going to go 98.6. I'm going to hit enter. And now you will notice that our image has been resized to the actual dimension. Now, if I want to modify the image itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my timeline right here. I'm going to select this icon right here and I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to go to edit features. And what this is going to do, it is going to bring our edit feature window. So this is where I can dim down the opacity of the image as you can see right here. This is also where I'm going to be able to use the interactive tools and rotate my object to, let's say, 90 degrees. And then as soon as I hit OK, we have our image, our new canvas, ready to be used to create a sketch. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to modify this image. We have scaled it. It is based on real world measurements. This is the right size that we want, but I want to change the image. Let's say, for example, that you were told that the design has been modified or there's a new version. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our home view just to make it easier. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to move the image right here so you can better see the changes. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our timeline and the very first step that we did with the creation of this canvas, it's recorded right here. So I'm going to go right mouse button over the icon and I'm going to go to edit feature. So now notice that we can move it, we can rotate it, we can even change the opacity, make it more opaque. And this is where you're going to go to change your image. So I'm going to click here under select image. And I'm going to bring in the new version of this image right here. And here's a new version. Notice that the bottom will change and then the top left and top right will change. So as soon as I click on open, there's the modifications to the image. I'm going to hit OK. And again, if you want to change the opacity, go back to the timeline, right mouse button over the icon, go to edit feature and then lower the opacity one more time. Hit OK. And we are ready to sketch our design. 